Hi to everybody! With this video, we start a new Node.js tutorial series. Stay with us! So, what is Node.js? Let's start with the definition of Node.js, and to do that, we are going to open uh, the website, the official website page. We have here the description, it says Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Node.js uses, uses an even driven non-blocking I.O. model that makes it lightweight and efficient. Node.js package ecosystem, NPM, is the largest ecosystem of open source libraries in the world. Ok, it's a nice definition, but what really means? What does Node.js do? During this series, of course, we will explore uh, deeply the event-driven and the non-blocking model of Node.js and more in general, all the architecture of this framework. Not just because it's, it is interesting or, uh, or something else, but because we must understand it to use Node at its best. We can say that the most simple definition of a Node.js that I can find is backend framework such as Laravel or Cake or Symfony that are written in PHP. But it has some point of strength that the other one doesn't have. If I have to list the most important points, I will count those three. Or I use JavaScript to write code. In fact, JavaScript is the language, the developing language of Node.js. And the front-end developers have the opportunity to start writing code without having to learn another language. Or, uh, using JavaScript, sh JavaScript should be a common language for them. Then we have uh, a large community with uh, a really, really huge repository of uh, free software and uh, extension module. Let's call them extension module by now. We have the ecosystem, uh, one of the largest ecosystem uh, of the web. Then we have a third thing, very important, and uh, it is uh, very fast. Uh, we can use it to serve real-time web and mobile applications such as, uh, for example, chats. And then we have uh, many, many more, such as uh, accessing the file system in order to read, write or delete files, connect uh, to database in fast and an easy way, uh, using uh, the several modules provided by the community. In order to show you how Node.js is downloaded and used, I'm going to show you this uh, infographic that is uh, very nice, but uh, most important things show a lot of uh, graphics to uh, understand how Node.js is downloaded. We can see the downloading of the different versions. We can see the this different distribution of the downloads for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. We can see how many download per day. Here we have an, an average and this increasing of 192% uh, exactly as the total amount downloaded that is growing up of one, 147. We, you can find uh, this infographic at uh, nodesource.com slash node dash by dash numbers or you can take a look at the description, I will uh, put the URL. To attend this course, you should know a little bit of JavaScript and HTML. In particular, JavaScript is very important because JavaScript is the language we will use to develop in Node.js. But now, let's jump to the installation. In order to install uh, Node.js for Windows, we have to download the installer. And to, to do that, we can go to the home page and click one of those two big green buttons. The first one is uh, for the long-term support version, or uh, it's a version more stable. And uh, the other one, the version 7, is uh, the latest feature. It is not stable, but uh, it has the newest features. I think we should download this one, uh, the LTS version. 6.10. I won't show you how to download and install. Just click the green button and start the installer and click uh, the next button. You should accept all the default uh, options. Once completed the procedure, we, we check if it was uh, properly installed. And to do that, we will open a command prompt. 
So I'll go to Cortana and uh, start typing CMD in order to open a command prompt, a Windows command prompt, and uh, type node-v. This command should uh, issue the version number of node. Type enter and uh, we have here the v610. The version number is printed out and uh, the installation uh, was fine. If you don't have this result, you should repeat the installation. For this tutorial, I will use uh, Visual Studio Code as editor because I like it and uh, mostly because it is shipped with an interesting feature, the integrated terminal. To open the terminal, just type control and backtick. Let's try. Okay, here we are, we have the terminal. So we can see here, uh, down here, the terminal prompt. And I'll try to issue the same command as before, or a node-v. Now by clicking uh, return, I am expecting to see the same result as before, or uh, the version number. So hit enter. Here we are, we have the v610.0. So the same, exactly the same result as before. The next step is uh, to create our first file and to execute it with, no, with Node. To create a file with, a node, with a Visual Studio Code, just click this icon and type the name of the file. I'll type app.js. In this file, I'm going to write just a very, very simple instruction or a console log. So log that hey there and uh, I'm going to save it by clicking Ctrl S. Now go back to the terminal and try to execute it. In order to execute file, we have uh, we type node followed by the file name. We can omit the JS extension if and just hit return. We have the console log printed out here, so as you can see, it's very, very simple to execute a Node.js file from here. You can do the same from a command prompt. Another thing I want to point out that uh, is that this command is working because the app.js file is in the same directory, in the same, in the same folder, the project node tutorial lesson intro. In fact, if I type dir and then hit enter i'll have this result app.js otherwise to execute uh, a file that is not in the same directory we are where we are issuing the command we have to use the full path or a relative path in order to point to the file the file we wrote is not definable as an app it's just a line and it's just the proof that the node is working and it can, it can understand JavaScript. During this series, we will write more complex code that allows us to write a, a real, real world working app. I hope that you liked the video. In case, leave us a comment or put a like. And remember to subscribe to the channel and to follow us on Facebook. Bye, see you on the next video.